Julian, joining us now with more on this indictment of Alec Baldwin is attorney Andrew Stolman. Andrew, let's dive right in and talk about you. Heard Christina's report there talking about new evidence, uh, which is why this is is uh, come back and, and another indictment. What do you make of it? Well, Griff, that's kind of the $64,000 question. Apparently now the grand jury has indicted him and there have been seven new witnesses who have provided new evidence or at least new testimony with respect to what happened. Now these grand jury proceedings are of course confidential, so we don't know yet, but I will tell you, Griff, Alec Baldwin faces an uphill climb at trial. Historically cocky, arrogant, liberal New Yorkers don't do very well in New York, or excuse me, criminal trials in New Mexico. So I think he faces real legal peril. I think there's a significant chance that he loses and he spends some prison time, which will be very hard for someone like Alec Baldwin. Cocky, arrogant, liberal New Yorker? No, that's not at all what he is. Now, listen, I do want to play a clip of that interview with George Stephanopoulos, which we all watched, and I think it could possibly become part of this case again based on talking about pulling the trigger or not. Listen here. I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. At the moment. That was the moment the gun went off, yeah. That was the moment the gun went off. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. never. That was the training that I had. You don't point a gun at somebody and, and pull the trigger. So new case, new evidence, but are we right back to what they were discussing there? Yeah, yeah, I mean, come on. Like Joe Biden would say, come on, man. I mean, he violated the number one rule on movie sets, which is you don't point the gun at somebody. And to claim that he didn't pull the trigger, well, then how did the gun go off? I mean, this is the sort of legal canard that he has to try to sell to a blue collar jury in New Mexico. And I think it's going to be really, really tough for him. Now, Andrew, explain for our viewers. So, what kind of jail time? Like, what are the possible consequences here? Well, he faces 18 months in prison if convicted for involuntary manslaughter charges in New Mexico. Look, he's a first-time offender, so I, I don't know how much time he's going to get. He certainly isn't going to spend a decade behind bars, but if he's convicted, I bet the prosecutors will try very hard to get jail time because it will serve a prophylactic deterrent impact against other people who are on these movie sets and come in and think this is all fun and games and you point a gun at somebody and you kill them. So I do expect prison time if he's convicted. Wow, okay, put yourself in the shoes of the prosecutors. You put Baldwin on the stand. What's your line of questioning? Oh, Griff, prosecutors are salivating at the opportunity to cross-examine him. Look, I cross-examine people for a living, and when you know you have a hothead, when you know you have someone who's arrogant and conceited, you try to press every single button you can to get him explode, because jurors, you know, historically, will convict people if they don't like them. And Alex Baldwin is an unlikable fellow, so you get him to basically testify to the, gee, I didn't pull the trigger, and the gun mysteriously, magically went off and killed him. You get him to say that 20, 30 times because this jury's going to be sitting here and say, this doesn't pass the red face test. So do you foresee this uh, in case of perhaps the, the Baldwin team trying to play a little bit of this trial, of this case in the court of public opinion as much as in the legal courtroom? Oh, absolutely. And look, I think prosecutors are going to do that as well because you're not supposed to do it, but prosecutors and defense attorneys taint the pool all the time with their message. This is going to get huge coverage in New Mexico, so I expect both sides to be leaking their message and try to convince the jurors, poten potential jurors, beforehand that they didn't do anything wrong. Great analysis and insight as always. And how about that? A bonus Joe Biden, come on, man, cameo. <laughs> Andrew Stolman, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Griff. You too. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.